A Notai family helped save a man's life early this morning after his car crashed into a wooded area and caught fire. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Jessica Davis. KEZI 9 News reporter Stacy Kafka spoke with the family today and has more on what they're saying about this early morning crash. It's our top story at 6. Early this morning, a car failed to stop at this intersection and traveled into the wooded area behind me. A local family stepped in to help the man get out of his car. The screech of tires in a crash right after woke up Bryce Schaefer's dad. That sounded like somebody fired off two gunshots. Police say 43-year-old Vanita resident Trevor James Lamberson failed to brake at the stop sign when traveling southbound on Poodle Creek Road, driving right through the intersection and into a wooded area. After that, my dad got out of bed, walked out, actually ran out with his knife, came out here, cut the seatbelt, drug him out, and had me and my sister call 911. When the Schaefer family walked across the street to the crash site, Lamberson's car was on fire. So the family is thankful they acted fast. Yeah, if we didn't, no one would. The neighbor over there was about 15 minutes late. This isn't the first wreck the family's witnessed at this intersection. 13-year-old Bryce has seen dozens of crashes just like this one. 20 or 30. It's one of the first ones I've seen catch on fire, though. And since the car was on fire... Cut the seatbelt and drug him through the window and tried to stick him behind a tree so that way if it did explode, he'd have at least a little cover. The family made sure Lamberson was safe before medics arrived. Once Oregon State Police responded to the scene, Lamberson was transported to Riverbend with non-life-threatening injuries. And police charged him with DUII, reckless driving and criminal mischief in the second degree. Both Oregon State Police and the Lane Rural Fire District responded to the crash. In no tie, Stacey Kafka, KEZI 9 News.